Hello and welcome to the Rising of the Shield Hero Season 3 Episode 10! Woo! And yes everyone, last week I indeed continued my reaction to Shield Hero even though I only never really reacted to the first 7 or 8 episodes of the season. But let's just say last week because of Arc Knight finishes, I might as well just continue on with Shield Hero man because well... From what I can see from the pacing of the story other than the fact that last episode we did absolutely destroy the Emperor Dragon so well teamworkly the power of friendships of style i would say so i'm quite happy for them of course you get to see some interesting animation for, for this new studio too so it was a really well how to say one of the best episodes of the season but now we're down to the final three episodes i'm quite curious to see how would they go about to end season now usually from what i can remember from sheer hero the final three episodes from season one and two tend to be the one of the best part of the season so looking forward to it and you guess you know the title of this episode kind of sound very you know, interesting i'll say in this case but yeah with that let's just get started to this episode because i have a feeling that the emperor dragon is the starting point to what to come for this final three episode man so with that let's get started come on here and let's get started with the today's brand new arc of shield hero season three guys let's just say risha is now the main focus of the storyline to kickstart the final arc of the season man and well seems like well how to put it though, our bow hero itsuki is also gonna get some interesting moment because the last time we saw him well, Mai and him kind of eloped it in some way, so yeah, very interesting indeed, man. And yes, before we even start, I know you guys are saying, Valkyrie, are you in a vacation again? Well, let's just say I am currently in Geelong, Western Star, Melbourne. So I, you know, just got a little bit of vacation, so bear with this well, boring background for the whole weekend because I'm currently here, not just on vacation, but also working too, so... Uh, with that said though, you guys pretty much know though how I do my reactions anyway. Usually I go on vacation so I do use some weird background but at least I have a camera here. I'm able to record my reaction for you guys to enjoy and with that, let's get started. Perfect hype, yeah, hype justice. I thought I said hype justice. <laughs> Of course, Philo and the dragon are still fighting. Such childish, aren't they? <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. Yep, of course. Lao. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Level up, huh? Oh yeah, that's true though. So you have to work harder or something. Right. Play? What do you mean by play? Mm. Yeah, you gotta help people level up, Mel. You better help her, my man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I guess Philo can't be stopped when she's persistent over something, I guess. Hmm. Uh-huh, okay. So right. 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 Journey? What journey? Right. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, I guess this is a chance to go with Mel on a journey. Low. Low. Let's go, baby. <laughs> she passes. Get her out of here, man. Bye-bye. <laughs> Low. Low. So, I guess we won't be seeing Philo for a while.
Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Where is he going then? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Your boy... Boyfriend stepping in for Eclair, isn't it? Oh, this is cute, man. This is too cute. These two should just go on a date already. What? Hmm. She's back for more. For more food. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that again. The underground Colosseum. That's how they kickstart the season, if I remember correctly. I mean, he needs some money. Sasuka. <laughs> <laughs> Sasuga, Naofumi Sama. <laughs> that just literally Sasuga and Sama. Hmm. Well, yep, everyone, the bow hero is back, everyone. I haven't seen him since. Mm hmm. Yep, I mean, I guess so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho. well, another tournament arc of getting yourself into, I guess. Wow. We went full circle again, everyone. We literally went full circle of the story. Mm hmm. Wow, how cute, man. <laughs> to be honest, though, I think he just feels kind of guilty that he couldn't really do much last episode in the Dragon Arc anyway, so... Ah, uh, he's back too, of course. I mean, of course, they're quite worried about the Slave Trader. Hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. Where's the bow hero? Yep, there, there we go. I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll show up anytime soon. Oh, there it is. Told you it showed up anytime soon. <laughs> okay. Would this be a sad reunion or would this be a touching reunion? Is it going to be a sad reunion? Trust me. This guy is too, too arrogant, man. Uh, mm 
Mm-hmm. Well, that was easy. That was too easy, man. So, what was he, what was he up to in this tournament? Did Mike got himself into some messy um, schemes or something? Hmm. Hmm. What? Uh huh. Oh no. Is he under some sort of illusion or something? Okay. What's going on now? Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow, wow. What is he up to, man? Like, what's with the attitude of his? What's with his attitude? Uh huh. I mean, no shit, he was with bitch earlier. What's he doing, man? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, he been through it, to be honest. <laughs> Dude, to be honest, though, he just feel kind of sad that, you know, bitch also betrays him. So that's why he's saying some shit like this. You, I have not forgotten that episode, man. I have not forgotten that cringe episode, I'll say, where Fido ends up singing, too. Unbelievable, isn't it, man? So, bitch is just going around spreading weird rumors, getting heroes into messy situations as always. Unbelievable, man. This bow hero, I feel like he's gonna be a lot more troublesome than the, you know, the spear and the sword hero. Uh huh. Faint. What do you mean by faint? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, you can definitely tell that this is going to be a lot more troublesome um, to deal with than the uh, Sword Hero because he is just more focused on winning a tournament or something. And of course, getting stronger too. Dude. Bro. Bro. Seriously, man. The way they tell the story of Season 2 compared to now for me telling the story. It's more tragic compared to the Nafumi, man. Like, was it really that tragic? Because I feel like the whole total art thing was very one-sided, if I just say, in terms of the storytelling. But for the other heroes, like the spear hero, sword hero, and the bow hero now, it's a lot more tragic, so... If I, I, to be honest, I think if we see that side of the story, then I think the Season 2 stuff will be a lot better, but... Yeah, whatever, man. It's over. It's over. Um, so, yeah, that's a cursed weapon, isn't it? That's a cursed weapon right there. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. wow, wow, whack, man. I'm pretty sure his bow is being inflicted by some sort of curse item or something. Yeah. So yeah, it seems like our bow hero got himself into some messy situation again. I'm pretty sure Melty is involved in it. Oh, that bitch is involved in it. 
Are you kidding me? You? You? Jesus Christ, man. Being with Naomi is so much better than being with this dickhead right here, and you still want to be back with him, man? What's, what gives, girl? You have a happy life with Naofumi and now you want to like go back to with Itsuki and help him overcome his situation. Because you feel guilty about it. Like, come on. Seriously, Risha. To be honest, I never really liked Risha, to be honest. So, yeah. Hmm. Everyone. I do not have to say this, but we're going to get her character development. As much as I find it kind of funny that it took her this long to really show it. So yeah, Risha's character development, I predicted it, so yeah. Ay, 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 man. I knew it. There we go. There we go. How the fuck is he still here, man? What? Like, hitting her will be so much better. It's just that I can't really get off with that in season one. Uh huh. Oh my god, I told you. She, she cursed that fucking bow, man. She cursed it, man. Wow, slaves? Really? Uh-huh. Wow, make him understand? Well, they're gonna make you understand. Wow, this guy's got like, gonna be a lot more troublesome to deal with for sure, man. This bitch, man, seriously. Come on, she can't do it. Fucking hell. Killing her in season one would be so much better, but that didn't happen. Like. Bro, seriously, man, that Melty needs to be stopped, man. Like, she's going around doing backdoor schemes and stuff, so. So yeah, I guess he's setting up the the match between Risha and the bow hero next episode. Yep, the next week, man. Next week is gonna be interesting for sure. I don't, I really doubt they're gonna like have to fight in the final moment of this episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't believe this is how you're going to end the season, man. I mean, we're down to three more episodes, so... So next week, it's going to be the fight with Risha and the bow hero, and then the final episode. I have no idea how you're going to end the season, man. So, yeah, let's just see how it goes, man. Let's just see how it goes.
Mm -hmm. Well, everyone, next week it's gonna be either fascinating, cringe, or very well mind blowing in terms of some moment that we have between these two. Dude, I swear to God, this we are gonna beat him. I'm calling this right now, man. Rishi, I'm gonna show her absolute character development and beat him. Hmm. Uh, like I said, they have to close out the episode in this way to get us excited for next week anyway, so... Ah, uh, to be honest though, like we got ourselves a very interesting way to close off the season by dealing with a bow hero. I I will be very happy if, if by the end of the season they actually found found a way to deal with this bitch. Like this bitch, seriously, man. Like the fact that she still comes goes around causing mayhem by doing behind the door schemes and stuff like that. Bro, whatever she's up to, man, is need to be stopped, man. Like, the fact that you didn't kill her in Season 1 only punish her by removing her status as a royalty and giving her the bitch status is just not enough, to be honest. Like, you know, she she's just gonna do things behind it, the back, like you see in this episode. Um, corrupt the, the, the bow hero, bow, because I'm pretty sure wherever this is, is, is like absorbing his mana or something, or forcing him to use... Of the dark aspect of his magic, so either way, though, I am not impressed by the bow hero man. Like, he is just manipulated, he is just manipulated by his teammate and by Melty man. Like, this guy, I mean, to be honest, though, if you think about it, the spear hero was was just stupid, he was just plain stupid, and now for me, dealt with him properly. The sword hero has his tragic backstory because his teammate died right, right in front of him, so he has his reason to be what he is. But in the end, Eclair was the one that saved him, so that was good. But now we have the bow hero, which is being manipulated. So yeah, the bow hero, I think he's gonna be a lot more troublesome compared to the two he heroes that was been having the issues in this season. Uh, but either way, though, Risha will be the savior of the day, I guess, in the end. Because, you know, she is his former teammate. She's all she all the time she's been wor working hard was to, you know, able to be with, by Itsuki's side again. Which to, I find it very stupid. Because, you know, you're, you're with now for me now. Why do you still want to be with him? So, yeah, I mean, depending how they end the season. Either you either they're going to make season 3 a, a 7 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10. But we just have to see how they, how they tackle next episode with the fight between Risha and uh, Bow Hero because I feel like it's gonna be cringe or dramatic. So with that, hope you guys enjoy the reaction. Smash the button, guys, and I'll see you guys next week for the epic fight between the sibling, the well, the teammate and the leader. So with that, I'll see you guys then.